So again, we're moving on. Uh, hopefully we're clicking pretty good with our uh, sea turtle. This is project four for our Fun in the Sun summer camp with the Southeastern Quilt and Textile Museum and myself, your stitching host, Laura Bosma, Pretty Penny Precuts. We're gonna place the long hexagons and the tail. And I wanna talk about these hexagons a little bit. They're a weird shape. Um, I don't have a die to cut these quite as perfectly as some of the other shapes in this particular kit. Um, don't let that panic you. They are all okay. Since I know I want to use these as a pair here and they're the color that I want, I'm actually gonna stack the one that I like the shape of a little bit better on top of the one that I think is just a baby bit wonky. And I see that I've got about an eighth of an inch that I could trim away right there, right there. And that's all I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's just to satisfy me. It certainly could be used in the condition that it's in right now. There's not a thing wrong with it. It has to be a little bit more hand cut than the other parts we're using. And I just simply trimmed it down. And again, it's back to my earlier discussion. Um, these are parts of a, tur a turtle shell and their shell is not gonna ever be perfect because they are wild animals and they uh, in the sea and they've got predators after them all the time. So I just trimmed that one up a little bit to satisfy my own self. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the waste paper from it. And I'm gonna place one, again, here's my light is over here. So I'm gonna place that guy right there. I'm basically banking off of that particular edge and then eyeballing for right now, that one fourth of an inch. And then this is my second one. So it's repeating, I'm just on the opposite side from the first one. I'm going to place it down and then finally I'm going to go ahead and place the tail. And even though in my diagram on uh, basically on your page two right above step three I, I ran out of paper when I was tracing my um, placement and it shows the tail all smacked up tight. It still needs to be a quarter of an inch. I just didn't have any more paper to draw on. So again, we're gonna do it like that. And if you need to, when, you know, when you're uh, not looking at the video and just kind of lay a ruler down to see that you're generally straight going this way and generally straight going this way, I think that would be absolutely fine. But that was our step um, three F and G where we've placed the long hexagons and then we've placed the tail.